What's up guys, Jared back again. So I've got a cool application I wanted to show you. It's a floating UI application, there's tons of them out there. And I was actually aware of this right when it was released. Um, I just didn't upload the video just because um, a lot of people jumped on it and I didn't want to seem like I'm copying anybody or anything. Not that that really matters, but anyways. Uh, so it's free in the Play Store. It's gotten well over 100,000 downloads by now. Um, can you spot it? It's on my screen right now. Mm, can't see it yet? Well, what if I change screens? There it is. So this is called Floating Toucher. It's a bit of a creepy name. I think they should have just left it at Floating Touch. Nevertheless, it's still really cool. Um, so it's this little dot there, and you're probably wondering what the hell it does. So let's go ahead and get to it. I'll just tap on it there. And as you can see, it's this cool sort of floating UI there over top, a uh, little overlay type uh, UI. Uh, so at the moment, it was just downloaded fresh because I wanted to show you guys what it looks like fresh, and then we can start adding things as we go. Uh, so as you can see, we've got quick access to a bunch of different things, some toggles, your home button, things like that. But yeah, you'll see that we've got a bunch of different spaces that we can start adding more things to. You'll also notice this little folder on the right there. That actually jumps us over to the toggles section, which is really, really convenient for, I'm sure, a lot of people. Uh, so let's jump back there. And actually, furthermore, let's go ahead and jump into the application itself and see how we can customize it. So there it is there. Here's the UI, and as you can see, we've got some different options, but let's start out with panel. Uh, so panel is where you're gonna start choosing things like the color and the um, transparency of it. So if we wanted to, we could leave it dark, uh, sort of gray or blackish, if you will, green, and so on. Uh, we're gonna just leave it this because it's a little bit easier to see, and of course, you can see this little slider down there at the bottom. We can start sliding and changing things around a little bit, which is pretty cool. Uh, so let's move on to custom. And this is where a lot of the fun really happens. So you'll notice we've got a bunch of these plus symbols here, and that's so we can start adding extra things. So what happens when I click on it? Well, we've got a bunch of options here. You can uh, add actions, you can add applications, as well as shortcuts. But you'll notice we do have an option for premium. And that's, uh, so you do get a premium, ver or you can purchase the premium version, I'm sorry, and it just allows you to add a couple of extra things, make some extra changes that you can't. But in its free form, this is still a very, very functional um, and useful application. So actions here, as you can see, this is something where maybe you might want to spend on the, um, for instance, uh, the, the toggles area here. Or if you wanted to, you could expand upon it and add to the to the regular uh, regular dial there. I guess we can call that a dial. Uh, anyways, so you can expand the status bar. So that's something I might be interested in. So say, for instance, um, actually, what we'll do is we'll back out of here. And I'm going to click the, uh, press and hold that one. That removes it. And maybe this is something that I want to expand the status bar. So when I click on this, I can pull down the status bar just by clicking on the button there. Really, really convenient. Uh, again, we can go ahead and expand upon that. Uh, you know, maybe I want my flashlight. So what I could do is open that up. And as you can see, there's my flashlight. It's grayed out because it's turned off. I click on it and it turns my flashlight on. Very convenient, right? Uh, so let's go ahead and click back here. Maybe we want to add an application. So I jump over to my applications here and perhaps I want some really quick access to, oh, I don't know, my mega application. So we just click on that and then you've got access to your mega application as you can see there. Uh, so if we wanted to make some changes in the toggles area here, uh, you would be doing the same thing. So let's say, for instance, I wanted to remove the Wi-Fi. You just long press on it. Instructions are down here at the bottom. Go ahead and tap on it. And, um, you know, I wanted to get back to actions because I want to keep it in the toggles area. So uh, maybe I wanted to change, for instance, um, oh, I don't know, shoot. Wi-Fi hotspot. Well, there it is. Now you've got a Wi-Fi hotspot as soon as you switch over there. Um, so as you can see, that was the this is the action to get over to the um, toggles area here. Uh, in its free form, you can't remove that one. Um, so let's just get back out of here into a nice clean home screen. So you can't actually remove that one in its free form, but if you get the pro version, uh, you can. In fact, my flashlight's still on, so I'm going to turn that off. Uh, now, if you want to hide this, this doesn't tuck away like um, Paranoid Android's Halo. So if you want to hide it, you just go ahead and long press on it, and then it just kind of disappears. But you'll notice we get a little notification in the status bar. So we'll go ahead and pull that down, click on it, and it pops up again. If you want to move this around your home screen, you can do so by just tapping on it and just moving it around wherever you want. Uh, and just tuck it away. So really convenient. Um, everything they've thought of everything, and I think it's just a fantastic application. Again, it's free in the Play Store. Go and download it. Try it out yourself. I'm sure you you guys will be able to get some use out of it. Uh, there'll be a link in the description below, so you guys can go and download it and play with it. Um, that's it though, guys. Hope you liked this video. If you did, click that likes button. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos. And you can always stay up to date on all things of smoking Android by following me on Twitter and Google Plus. That's it for now, though, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Cheers.